today I'm gonna uh, bleed a tether system. System. Um, so I'm gonna give you a quick rundown on the 33 of how to do this. It's not very hard. Lens off. Uh, what you want to do is fill this up. Well, they said five millimeters above the line, but I'm using M's or automatic transmission fluid here. And just fill it up a little bit, just not a lot. I guess we can't see. And what you want to do is, <clears throat> so. All right, that's better. So we filled it up a little bit past that line, the max mark. I'm gonna put your uh, cap back on. All right. And after you do that, on the V-Spec models, we have, you have to uh, gravity bleed. There's a nipple. Let's see if I can get under here. There's a nipple under there. That you want to bleed, there you go. Now, if you can see that nipple there, it's a 10 mil. You want to crack that bleeder open and have it to where it's nothing but fluid coming out of it. So, if you have to tighten it, open it, tighten it, open it, do that about five times. You just make sure it's pure liquid coming out, no air bubbles. Have that done. Once you do that, you're going to go into your car. And uh, you're going to turn your key on to the on position. And on 32s, it's the white connector. 33s, excuse me, we have a white and a brown connector. 33s, it's the brown connector. So what you want to do is um, go here. But before you do any of that, you want to go under the car and crack the bleeder at the top of the... Uh, Show you on my spare mission back here. Oh, I got three of them and a fourth one. But uh, you want to crack the bleeder that's at the top of this. I'm going to show you on here because it's easier. Damn it, that one ain't got it. There we go. This one got one. So you want to get this bleeder right here. Take the cap off, crack it open, and uh, just just to prepare for the bleeding process so you want to crack it open and once you crack it open you're gonna uh turn the key to the on position and disconnect that brown brown connector and once you disconnect that brown connector leave it off for about five seconds or so plug it back in and then uh, as you leave that um connector disconnect i mean uh bleeder port open and you're gonna connect that again. It's gonna shoot pressure from your tether, pressurizing it to bleed out the system. So that's what we're gonna do today. All right, so here we go. So what you gotta do is I got the car on, got the connector disconnected. It's the brown one for the 33. And right now it's pressurized. It's kind of like in bleed mode. So what I'm gonna do is, um, while it's in bleed mode, as you do like with brakes, uh, loosen the connect the um, bleeder. It's going to shoot out either air or fluid. Tighten it back up. All right, then you're going to turn your key off. Leave it off for like five seconds. Turn it back on. It's going to engage bleed mode again. And once it's pressurized, you do this again. You re um, loosen that and bleed it again. And keep doing that until nothing but straight fluid is coming out of this. So the car is pretty low and I am trying to get under it. I don't know how I'm going to hold this phone. Let's see if I can set up my little kickstand on the bottom here. You know, I can get y'all situated. I don't think it will, but. Okay. Get this more under there. Once it starts shooting out, I'm gonna have to 
get something that this can sit on. Try to pause. Alright. So I think we're at a good angle. I think that's good right there. So right now it's in bleed mode. <laughs> gang gang. And we're going. So right now it's pressurized. What I'm gonna do is as I heard air shoot out of there, tighten it back up. Alright, Robert, turn the key off. Five seconds. Yep. And you can hear that bzzz, that's actually shooting the pressure from the fluid from the Alteza reservoir in the trunk to this line that goes to this actuator. So do it again. You don't feel like close it back up. All right, five seconds. Make sure you have like a drip pan or something. All right, do it again. I want to get like a little bit more open. So you can hear the uh, reload in the back and that's pushing more fluid to the front. All right, again, five seconds. All right, you can hear that relay working to push that fluid. All right, tighten it back up. Again. Pressurize. And that's straight fluid coming out of there. That's good. So you, as you can see, when I first did that, I uh, didn't have it on camera, but air shot out of there, no, no fluid. And then the second time, air and then a little bit of fluid. And this time, all fluid shot out. So the system is bled. What you want to do now is connect your connector back up top. Let's see. We'll turn it off. Connect this connector. Edit it out. Edit it out. Wipe your paws off. Cause they all they're gonna be nice and dirty unless you got gloves on. And you don't want to put your paws in your nice car. Ain't that right? Ain't that right? You don't want to put your paws in that car. So open the door. And you're gonna get your brown connector, which is this one. You see the brown ones just connected here on your 33, on 32s or white. And uh, in instructions it says like disconnect and reconnect, disconnect, reconnect. But what you turn the ignition off and on, that's doing that power transfer for this connector. So you can just leave it disconnected and then turn the ignition off and on to the on position. So that's finished. So what I'm gonna do now is connect this connector, which connector's connected, turn your ignition off. And just while it's uh, connected now, just give it a quick on just to make sure you don't get anything crazy. Uh, before I was getting my four wheel drive and my active LSD light coming on. So um, I also had disconnected, well, uh, removed my hikers. So I thought that was the problem. And uh, thanks to Tony for giving me the information about the hikers. I don't know if you saw that video, the hikers delete and I have installed the um, the Driftworks kit. So as you can see there, so with the hikers delete, you wanna make sure you get the ground that's coming off this connector and connect it to the ground that goes, that comes right there on the diff. Um, that's just on the Hikers Delete tutorial. Go check it out. And that is it for uh, how to bleed a Tesla system. So you can see it went down to that line from where we were where we were before. And you see everything's good to go now. That's it. Like, share, subscribe.